It's me, Scotty McLean. We are, of course, live on the big one. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and LinkedIn phone in. How amazing is that? Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with us. And a big welcome to our TikTokers as well, who have just come and joined us. How good is that? Excellent stuff. Just getting everything set up here. And uh, there we go. Fantastic. That's lovely. Good. And that's our TikTokers have joined us. Off we go to the telephones already. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. How are you doing? Oh, Kareem, how fantastic is that? Brilliant stuff. I can't believe here we are on Wednesday evening. How quick does the time pass? The week is just going by so quick, Scotty. Absolutely. Already. Absolutely fleeing in, and you know, tomorrow, Thursday, and then our Friday and Saturday phone ins. But tremendous success, great following on Twitch. We're into about 80 followers on Twitch, and we had two last week. Excellent. You know, it's, it's just really wonderful. And TikTok, I popped up on TikTok at about 20 past six this morning and did what we call the early bird, the early bird chit chat, the old red eye. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, and it was it was great and huge numbers joining us on TikTok. Just amazing. Excellent. Well, that's fantastic. Well done. So there we are. Anyway, that's you up to date with all the housekeeping. I will continue to grow, Scotty, as it always does. It will continue to grow. I think so. And when we get quality callers like yourself, last night they were all going, come on, we need Kareem. What's happened? <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you. Um, I was just uh, thinking about a few things for tonight's uh, uh -huh. call. And one thing that uh, I've been thinking about, Scotty, yes. is the, the question I'm going to put out to yourself and to everybody that's listening. Absolutely. We know. We know that the universal credit is going to be cut, and that's about eighty pounds a month. For yes, twenty twenty quid a week. We know that in April tax is going up. I'm going to be thirty pounds a month. Yes. We know that the petrol shortages at the moment is going up and down. We know the price for petrol, Scotty, is at the highest it's ever been. Yes, that's very naughty. Actually, it shouldn't be. Because we most know, of that's duty. We know, Scotty, that the the shelves are empty when we go into the supermarkets and we can't get a lot of our products. Correct. Now, I can't help but think this is what we voted for, but we love to moan, but we voted for all this back in 2014. Yes, well, not all of us voted for it, but I know what you mean. Uh, you know, by and large, the country put this let's get Brexit done government into place. Excuse me, yes. Uh -huh. And they did have a very, very, very strong alternative. It might not have been everybody's cup of tea, but Jeremy Corbyn was sitting there, not just in the wings, but ready to go centre stage. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, I still think Labour weren't as popular as, well, but Corbyn, I think he was good, but I still don't trust the Labour Party, and I think they've shown their true colours just now, uh, and I won't go into detail about it, but I think already you're seeing uh, uh, Keir getting, I forgot his name, Starmer. Keir Starmer. Getting absolutely slaughtered with his, his speech, and he's confirmed there is no intention that the Labour Party, under his power, will ever join EU. That was confirmed earlier on. In well, you see, that to me, I think, is a mistake. Uh, yep. So, I mean, either not good policy or badly advised, we'll go with that. Um, I also think that if Labour want to come out of the wilderness in Scotland, they should back independence. I think so. I know there is a, a, a group called Labour for Independence. Yes. If, if they are really wanting, this is the time now they should be really pushing for the independence movement. So my point that I was trying to make earlier on, Scotty, and I, I've been shot down many a time. Again, Scotland in 2014, when we voted to be part of Westminster, we knew that, that the state, that we've got a lot of powers that we do not have control in terms of taxation. 
yes. in terms when it comes to trucks. That now that will be another show whether or not there is a consumption rooms whether that's going to work to try and get people off. Now I think it's in Portugal, and I'm sure you've read about this, Scotty, that they tested this I think about ten years ago because they they had the highest drug problem in the whole of Europe, and now it's now one of the lowest because they had the consumption rooms where the addicts would go and they would get help and they eventually came off the drugs. Now, I didn't think... Holland try parks and places that, that druggies could go and take their drugs? As far as I know, it was a safe place. It's it was away from the public. It was it was like an say like a, an office somewhere, but it's away and that obviously when they're on their legal high, they're not out in the cold. They're not causing harm to people. Uh, and I, I think for me as well, most importantly, children don't get to see that. I mean, yes, I and they're getting monitored them. as well. There could be people there sort of policing them yeah. for want of a better term. Uh, I know the SNP wanted to introduce this, however, that, it, it gets a bit tricky when it comes to what powers they have and what powers they don't, and for that, they're not allowed. Westminster and Boris Johnson have made it very clear that's not going to happen. Well, and they want to example. keep a grip on the laws, but you see, as you know, Scots law is actually a separate law to English law, which was really based on common law, the old common law in the days yeah. when the House of Lords was the Supreme Court. Yeah. I think, Scotty, what will be interesting um, in the coming months, uh, and I've said to a few people, I think what's going to happen now, if SNP are serious, it will be the build-up to the council elections. That will be interesting. That will be in May. Uh, and that will be, I think you'll see ALBA, a lot more support for ALBA. There'll be less for SNP, but I don't think the Labour are going to make any grounds or the Tories. Not unless they back independence. Where Labour could have absolutely scored was if the leader at the time had just said to London, I'm sorry, but we're going alone. I'm going to back independence. That would have thrown the whole SNP thing into chaos in 2014 and probably have secured independence. Is it Henry McLeish used to be our first minister? Well, uh, that, the leader at the time was Joanne Lamont. Uh, yes, but the, the ex-first minister of Scotland. Yes. Have, it was Donald Dewar, then it was... Oh, Jack McConnell. It was after John, it was, it was McLeish. Yes. He recently came out in support of independence. He says if it's going to be good for the, the economy, yes. he will back it. Well, that's, I mean, I'm purely an economist. That's where I'm coming from. I'm not coming from a political standpoint at all. Mm -hmm. Well, I mm. actually think, Scotty, if we do get the referendum and we win it, I think you're going to see a lot of talent from all over the world moving to Scotland. Yes. I think you're going to see a change in politics. Yes, and you might see the diaspora coming back. I really believe you're going to have a lot of headquarters being built. You're already getting at the centre of Glasgow with the big Barclays, etc. Yes. Things are going to change. Things are going to open up. But my point I wanted to make earlier on was that we are all complaining and mourning just now, but that's what, well, I didn't vote, but that's what Scotland voted for, 55%. Now, what I still don't understand, Scotty, after everything that's happening, after people, if they go off the backsides and do a little research and can see that it's going to benefit the country, why is it still on a knife edge 50-50 around about? Very strange. Well, I've, I'll tell you one reason I think they need to be careful about, and you know exactly what I'm going to say. There needs the to be total clarity on the head of state, the monarchy, because that's going to become a distraction from the main event, and it shouldn't do. So we yep. need full clarification, full clarity. Yes, yep. Her Majesty the Queen is our head of state. That will not change. Our First Minister, she will also be appointing the First Minister who will swear allegiance to her. Not appointing the First Minister. Obviously, the people vote for the First Minister, but the First Minister still has to take the oath of allegiance to the head of state. Once that's comfortably put to one side, you can then yep. look at the politics. You can split the parliaments but not the crown. And you and I have come in on this one before. Kareem, while you're on here, lots of incredible comments here 
on TikTok. Right. Somebody says it's not working in America. Sad days for the Labour Party's one. Um, everybody says dinky do when Scotland becomes independent, the SNP will be scrapped and we'll have a proper Labour Party. That's another right. comment. Used to think the Scots and the English had very similar values, but after Brexit, not so sure. And this one, I think we, oh, sorry, there's more Tories in England. And on your comments, I think on the drug rooms, it's not working in New York. And the next comment says, I do not understand why people vote Tory. Thank you, Mr. Goatface, for your beautiful TikToks. So isn't that an interesting feedback from across the world? It's fantastic, Scotty. Really, really interesting. Excellent. You know, that Absolutely. just shows you just the potential of the phone-in. It's not working in New York. An instant comment. Yep. Well, do you know what's interesting as well, Scotty, with that? That's, as you said, it's instant. And then if it was to do with the media, some media might put a bit of spin on it and then it goes out the next day. No spin then, here. This is purely coming from the, the people. Absolutely. <laughs> Isn't Absolutely. that fabulous? Absolutely. Kareem, while you're on, yes, I know, I know it, it sounds like I'm anxious to keep you. I'm needing to press on and so are you. But while you're on, David phoned me last night to say that uh -huh. the ferries that you saw were at Bray Head. The big shopping centre, and you would probably have been able to see that from high up around the airport. Yes, yes. So they were at Brayhead. That's interesting. Apparently, they were at Brayhead, and the cruise ships were at Brayhead. So we'll see. We'll have more on that for you. Well, David, if you're listening, thank you for that. And Scotty, listen, thanks for my call. I'm sure you'll have some people making comments on that on the, the chat section. I, I am quite <laughs> sure we will, Kareem. Nothing surer. Lovely to hear you, and Deaky do. Thank you, do speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Absolutely, bye, bye. sir. God bless you. There we are. That's our Kareem. What a fantastic call. Good evening, Scotty, says Angela. Good evening, Angela. Uh, there we are. Hello, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, do, Scotty. Wonderful to see you, says Dave. And you, Dave. Good evening, Mr. McClure and all friends on the talk-in, says Jerry. Hello, all, says Suzanne. Dinky do, and then she and Jerry are chit chatting. Good evening, Scotty. Nice bonnet, says Billy from America. Dinky do, Lord McClue, says Jordan. Danny says, evening, we'd be a far richer country, says Jordan. Hello from me and Kirsty, says VJ. We'd be a far richer country without having to foot the bill with Westminster, correct? Uh, what will happen if the Scottish people marginally vote no again? Will she ask for a third referendum? Will it go on until she gets her results? Well, Dave, she might not be there after there. What was the first thing Alex Salmond did when uh, we didn't get the last referendum? He resigned. I actually don't think he should have done, but he did the right thing uh, as far as he was concerned and resigned. But, uh, you know, did the proper thing, if you like, but I think he should have toughed it out because he was an outstanding leader. So there we are. I do not understand why people vote Tory, says I am Montalbano. <laughs> Correct standpoint. Will I be better off? Correct. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Don't be ridiculous, you halfwit. That's part of Scotty McClue's accoutrement. You're live on, oh. Scotty. Who's that? Hello, oh, Scotty. David. Ah, David, <laughs> did you hear that halfway there? Would you take that stupid hat off? You know, I mean, would you, would you speak to anybody else like that? Oh, I missed that. I can have that. I can have my kitchen to listen to you. Okay. Just, just bar him. You know what I mean? Bar him. Yeah, just bar him. He's gone anyway. So there he goes. Oh, now. Like a complete and utter idiot. Now, David, I just informed Kareem on your behalf there. I know. I heard it. Thank you very kindly. I told, I'll tell him myself. Kareem, listen. You can hear me, Kareem. You're welcome, son. Thank uh, you. You're so kind, David. Thank you. David, <laughs> give, give me your advice. Remember the other night you said you wanted to give me a gift. Now, I'm not after anything, but I was thinking... No, I don't Wait till I tell you this. I splashed out on a new computer for the phone-in, and we know it's working. 
Do you I... think a hundred people would be willing to give me seven pound fifty towards that? No, don't you give I'm not I'm not I'm not asking for any I'm just saying as a principle. I you see it would that would be a terrific help towards the next thing. I'm building it up, you see, in the old days, if this was a television or radio station, it'd be hundreds of thousands of pounds. We yeah. can do it on a shoestring. Of course, of course. You know, but, but, that, you know, but I need to keep adding the next bit and the next bit, you know, because as you know, uh, watching this is 100% free. See what you're doing, it's very clever. I wish I had your, your nice brain. You've got my brain. You've, you've got a brain even much bigger than mine. <laughs> I know my brain. Yeah. I'll tell you. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I will give you something tomorrow. No, I'll don't, you, don't you do that. I'm not no, saying no, that. No, I'm no, just no, thinking, no. how do you think that would be received by people? Do you think there's a hundred kind souls out there that would say, I'll give them £7.50? You know? Well, they should because there's a lot, there's a lot of shocking things on the nation. I mean, Kareem is talking about what, but I understand. Uh, I, okay, I'll get to this. A guy put it on Sky News, you know what I'm talking about? It's yes. The, 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 the Labour Party. And I, I wouldn't stand up and start screaming. Did you see it? No, I didn't see that. I mean, I'll not go into individual kind of reports on other I media. Know. But I know I what know you mean. Person, this person was on a, a TV show. This is the person who stood up. She was fighting against she, because the universal care she said no, she said he was wrong, etc. And I know that's women because I watched it on TV right. years ago. <laughs> Absolutely. I think people get very, very heated. But you see, a problem with the Labour Party, I yeah. think their roots would have been in independence. That would have been their yeah. roots, you know, backing the people and, and that sort of thing. And I think they kind of lost their way. Mr. Blair took them quite far to the right so that they became electable. Because I think what he was saying is, look, you've got a choice. You can either stay as a lefty party and be ignored, or you can yeah. come to the centre and be electable. Yeah. And that's what they did, and we had new Labour. But there were a lot of old Labour people, including people in his cabinet, who were saying, well, that's the end of the Labour Party, isn't it? That's us, that's us finished, that's us sold out so we could get elected. You see, and what you've got to say, and then when, when it was Mr. Corbyn, they were that busy fighting him. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. You know? I mean, this guy, as I said, this guy today, when I stood up, she was raging, she was pointing, she was screaming, I had the headlines, I had Channel 5 News, everything. And I, I, I do know her, I know her, the TV program, Channel 4, a long time ago. Right. I, I used to watch it anyway. She was, she was making a good fact. She was sticking up for people on universal credit, etc. Yes. And other, other things. And again, all her supporters, the Labour, the Labour Party people, were clapping for him. She was talking in the middle of all these people, you know? Absolutely. And Absolutely. No, it's it's very, very interesting. And as I say, at a conference, people have got a real conscience about politics. But what yeah. we need to get away from is saying, I will vote that way because that's the way Granny voted. Yes. Yeah. No, Johnny, I kind of spilled the beans because I wasn't sure how you could tell them or if you'd be coming on, you know. Yeah, of course. These boats, there's about 10 big cruise ships down there. They're beautiful. Down at Brayhead. Oh, there's something special. They really are. You want to see the way they manoeuvre them. Do you know they can bring them into about four or six feet? Well, I, well, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't get near them unless you're actually involved in the cruise. Oh, I can imagine. But see, all 
people out for it, or like all the captains, they need to be on your voice with a document for your head. Oh, aye. Oh, aye. And then you'll, go, you'll also have pilots that know the River Clyde. When I was a wee boy, there were oh. the Clyde pilots permanently based at Guruk. And, oh. uh, and they had their own boats. And they used to go away out. Now, a pilot is a wonderful thing. A pilot is a very senior uh, marine officer, either a captain or a chief right. officer, which is the number two on a boat, right? And what these guys did, I mean, some of these guys were in their 50s and 60s. Some of them had retired from sea. And the pilot boat goes along the big boat at the same speed, right? And then at the right moment, the pilot wow. jumps onto a rope ladder and goes up the side of the big boat. Right, that's, that's amazing, isn't it? Now that's because, I mean, you know, they can go out in a very rough sea when it's gone up maybe six, seven, eight feet at a time oh, and then back down again. Yeah, I was, I was on a boat years ago in Spain, but it wasn't that big cruise ship. Aye. When I was on a boat in Spain, I, I was actually seasick anyway. Oh, I know what you mean. It's a terrible thing, actually, because, and I'll tell you, I hope nobody's having a late plate of wheat bangs, but I'll tell oh, you about seasickness. <laughs> seasickness is, is really, say you just had a oh, burger and then you went to a rough sea. Your oh, body oh. is saying, I will put you back into balance, yeah. but I am not going to work on this burger at the same time. So you oh, choose. Right. Either the burger goes or you your balance goes. So you think, I'll keep my balance so the burger goes. Oh, it's mad. That's what these macaroni are going to do. I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, so there you are. Fantastic stuff. Well, David, that's you up to date with that and uh, right. just quality. People uh, punch each other at the petrol station. Yes, that's pathetic. And it's terrible. The I know it's a big thing, but they're actually attacking each other. Oh, David, if you take your motor in, right, I don't know about you, but I quite often pop into the filling station for 20 oh. quid's worth. So I'm not going to go filling my tank right up if I can get it for 20 quid. Just put your 20 quid in and go and let the person behind get on. Exactly. Aye. And that's it. And that does us, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just madness. Do you know what I mean? It's people not thinking that other people are just human beings like them. Exactly. I mean, people can get told over us. Next time I go to the fuel station, I might make a point of letting the car behind me go first. That's what I'm thinking, you know. Just pop behind, say, excuse me, I'll pull forward. Do you want to go first? That's right, yeah, that's a good thing, my chap. And then we should maybe all start this, you know? Yes. No, no, others first, others first. I was brought up, I remember we used to go to the Sunday school and we were taught that joy meant Jesus first, others second, and yourself last. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. No, no, that's it. That's absolutely shocking, David. Right, I'm going to have to press on the rock you and up here. But remember, I love you to bits, and there's no other thing you can do about it. And tell John I'm asking for him. Thank you, do love you lots. That's your Davy. Now, gosh, we're mobbed tonight, folks. This is crazy, crazy stuff. Thank you, do. Evening, Mr. McLean and all the friends. Uh, what have we got here? Hello, everyone. Thank you, do says Kareem. Greetings, sir, says Neil O'Gormley. David is the new Mad John, says Ebri. Go on, David. Good chat, says Jerry. There we are. Danny, thank you, do. Scotty, white dog shecht. Yes, you don't see it nowadays. That's a fair point. If you've just joined us on TikTok, Dinky do. Follow us as soon as you come on. What's this Scottish indie? Says Big Lad Jim. Big Lad Jim, independence for Scotland. Live on TikTok there. Who's the politician guy behind you? 
and that 1940s guy with the glasses. Did they have to hear the old duffer come on early and go, will you take that stupid hat off? There we are. Thank you very much. Mr. Goatface has sent me four beautiful cookies. Thank you, dear Scotty. How do you feel about the sovereignty of Parliament being affected by independence? Well, it wouldn't be. The phone. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's Jordan from Edinburgh. How are you? Jordan from Edinburgh. What a joy and a privilege to hear you and Dinky do. Are you enjoying yeah. the phone in? Brilliant stuff as always, Scotty. Brilliant stuff. Now then, what's happening in the real world, Jordan? Well, Scotty, I was phoning you about something that I was looking at in the media. Yes. About celebrities. Yes. I don't know if I can name this person. Well, let's not name people because then we can. Uh, it gives us more flexibility. <laughs> okay. Well, this this lady uh, is a well-known celebrity, celebrity in brackets, uh, who has been drink driving repeatedly, 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 time and time again. Yes, I know who you mean. You know who I'm talking about. Yes. If that had been you and I, we'd be in jail. Yes. This, this woman plays a mental health card and seems to be getting off scot free. Yet again. How does that work? Well, mental health has nothing to do with this. If you do it time and time again over a, a long period of time, how? Why should you get off with that? Well, no, it's just, well, because it's, obvious, it's very, very dangerous. Nobody should be getting off with things and will not comment too much on the particular one because we don't no, know no. the ins and outs. But as a general rule, okay. nobody is above the law. Exactly. I think this this lady or this person is is basically what her, her, she, she has her own mental health problems, which is fair enough. That's absolutely fine. Nobody's disputing that. But you, you can't play Russian roulette with everybody else's life by getting behind the wheel of your car. Hundred percent correct. Fair enough. I'm not going to go on any more on that one. But yes, okay. I I do take <laughs> your point, Jordan. Well done. Well done. Well well handled. Enjoying the show. Always lovely speaking to you, and Dinky do a good point well made. And I'll be putting in, the, I'll be putting in my uh, my money for the, the, the new equipment. No, don't you worry. Just I was just asking David if he thought no, people no, would no, be no, all right no, for that. No, no. Well, we're all up for it. We're all up for it. Go you on. know, it's it would be very kind. A hundred, a hundred angels, if you like, getting behind old McClure. <laughs> 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 lovely uh, talking to you. Thanks, Jordan. Uh, Thank you, do, la, all the best. Thank you, do. Thank you, do. What a top man. There we are. Fantastic. No word of a lie. My brother gave Tony Blair a cream egg. VJ, I believe you. The River Clyde song. Oh, beautiful, Suzanne. Anyone else lagging? No, no. Scotty, hello from the Numpty Heads. Hello, Professor Numpty Heads. No matter who gets into power, the higher powers will control them. They are just puppets, says Dave. Labour Conservative Libs raving monster loony. It's monster raving loony, isn't it? Doesn't matter. Results will be exactly the same. Hi, Scotty and everyone. Hello, Scotty and everyone. Sorry. Proper grammar. Gordon Robertson, thank you do. I couldn't get any fuel for my Robin Reliant. Well, Jerry, I hope she's all right. Dave, you're sounding like David Ike. <laughs> Gordon Robertson. I've interviewed David Ike. Very interesting man. Hi, Scotty. It's John Boy, David's partner, watching your dear face pus on Twitch. I'll give you dear face pus. Okay, thanks, Gordon. Nice. Got it exactly. Dinky do. We're off to the telephones. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hey, that's Stuart Atoff. Away you go, you dafty. There we are. I pay more for fuel. My lighter fuel is one pound forty nine for one hundred milliliters. There we are. Thank you. Do. You're a top class broadcaster. I love your shows, says John Boy. I love you too, John Boy. And there's not a thing you can do about it. I don't think Jordan is from Edinburgh. He didn't say Ken or A once. No, not once, Gordon. Ains. He didn't say, or Jens. Fantastic. You dafty will love it. Who was the most interesting person you interviewed and why? So many interesting people. One of the best uh, was actually um, 
Oh my goodness, David Heyman, the actor, very interesting, and Bill McMurdo, the football agent. They were fascinating because uh, for different reasons, um, David is obviously an outstanding actor and very, very experienced in theater, in movies, films, everything, Hollywood, the Citizens Theatre in Glasgow, you know, all these incredible things that he did. Um, playing Jimmy Boyle in A Sense of Freedom, remember that? Uh, you know, I mean, just a wonderful actor. So he was interesting. So if you go on YouTube, Scotty McClue talks to David Heyman. Uh, Bill McMurdo was around. He was George Best's agent. He was also my agent. And he was George Best's agent at the time of the Beatles and all these fascinating things and was able to just tell it like it was, you know. So he was another great one to interview. But I've interviewed so many interesting people. What we might do if the phone-in, not if, sorry, when the phone-in takes off and it's already starting to do so, I think what we'll do is get some guests on here uh, just chit-chatting and you can phone the guests and have a chat with them. What do you think of road closures that have been announced for the COP? Uh, It's not COP fiasco. It's a huge, it's a huge um, thing for Glasgow. uh, But uh, I knew there would be problems. So there you go, because our usual routes. You're a true gentleman. Thank you, Ross. Who's talking, says Tim? Scotty McClure, Tim. Never a dull moment. Scotty, the crows are nesting. It's going to be a cold winter. Jack, I know exactly what you mean. Welcome to our beautiful TikTokers. Scotty, what's your views on after death? Well, I haven't. I was going to say I haven't experienced it yet. But what I may well have, I've gone into huge old country houses and known my way about. Have I been here before? So maybe I'm having an after death experience now. Now, what about that one? What subject did you talk about without Scotty? Is it available to listen to? Uh, No, in those days, I don't think we recorded the shows. Well, we didn't keep them. We recorded them for legal purposes uh, in case the, um, the authority wanted to hear them. But then I think we just dumped the recordings. And I talked everything with David Icke. He was fantastic. Very, very interesting to listen to. Whether you agree with them or not is another thing entirely. God help us getting anyone in the city in the next two months. I know, Ed, but I mean, it's going to be so good. All eyes will be on Glasgow. Speaking as an Englishman, I hope you Scottish get the independence you want. Well, at the moment, we haven't said we want it. We need to have a referendum first, and then we will find out. Can everybody watching here... If you want to join in the phone-in and you're live on TikTok, look at my bio right in front of your face and you will see the URL for the YouTube channel. Tap that, subscribe and tap the bell for notifications and join in the phone-in. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Twitch. We're live on LinkedIn Live. And we are live on Facebook Live right now. So come and join us. Is there enough viewers on Twitch? Should I sign up and tell 10 to tell 10? VJ, get on to Twitch because I need people to watch it live. And it's a superb feed. And follow me on Twitch. We had two followers last week. We've got 80 now. 30,000 people to ascend on Glasgow. Excellent, Suzanne. Very good for business, I say. <clears throat> Hello from Alberta in Canada. We love you in Alberta and Canada, dinky do I say. Scotty, opinions on the Spitfire fighter plane? Mr. Mitchells, right? R.G. Mitchells, um, wonderful invention. Fantastic aircraft, although we must never underestimate the hurricane, the Hawker hurricane. And Tom Sopwith of Sopwith Aircraft, yeah, one of the earliest aviation specialists, one of our early flyers, I'm not sure if his license was the first one. It was very early on. But Thomas Octave Murdoch Sopwith, the Sopwith Camel and the Sopwith Pop, Sopwith uh, Aircraft Works in the First World War. And then he went on. He was still the chairman of Hawkers when the jump 
jet came in. So there's a man that knew his stuff. Twice, at least, he saved this country because he went to, I think it was Dorniers in the 30s in Germany and saw them building aircraft and he thought there's going to be trouble here. And he came back and he ordered hurricanes from his own factory. And the guy said, who are they for, Sir Thomas? He said, for me. And then, of course, the usual government shambles. The air ministry came to him and said, we need fighter aircraft, he said. Right, well, I happen to have some. So there you are. Scotty, have you heard of the stone tape theory images recorded into time over many years? No, Dave, I have not. Glasgow needs a big cleanup before COP26. Worst council. Yes, so there we are. Right, Big Daddy, we won't be pointing fingers in any personal ways. <laughs> Do come and join us, folks, as soon as you possibly can. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, hashtag Flotai. This is the internet phone-in. It is massive. It is worldwide, but it's only four weeks old. Lovely to have you with us. Have you met William Wallace? Uh, no, but I know all about him. Dinky do, Scotty. It's been about 30 odd years since I last heard you talk, man. Glasgow Crack, lovely to have you with us on the TikTok. And Dinky do. Dinky do, everybody. Thank you for following. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Right? Follow me on Twitch. Scotty underscore McClue. Get yourselves on there. Dinky do, all the way from Venice. They've just stopped all cruise ships here last month. Vandal, I'm trying to think why they stopped the cruise ships in Venice. Was it because it was causing tidal waves uh, or something like that? I don't know. Or was it just too much for Venice? Hello from Tobermory, says David Walker. We love you in Tobermory. And we say hi to you. Are you close to the back bray or the middle bray or the prison bray? Are you near to the Western Isles? Are you down by the pier or are you over by the old house? There we are. Fantastic. Cost me $51 to fill up, but no lines. Leslie Davis, $51 is nothing over here. Hello, my beautiful friend. Hello, Susie Babe. I love to have you with us. Scotty McClure, Dinky Doo from Boston. Boston in Massachusetts are in the house. So there we go. Dinky Doo. Now, who have we got here? Katie Big Books, thank you very much. Hello from England, says Chris Clark. We love you in England, Chris Clark. Hello from Tom and Murray in the Isle of Mull. So there we are. English boy Bangkok. He says, are you incontinent? So what we'll do, we'll dump you, English boy, because you're 100% useless to the internet. So what I'll do is I'll just say, doon the swanee with English boy. There he goes. Bye, la. Uh, fantastic. He's gone. Uh, guys, remember, you never, ever, 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 ever troll Scotty McClue. Otherwise, you go straight down the swanee. There we go. Now, who we got? Dinky do. Right, David, we've got your message about Tom and Murray. Some people are pinching petrol. Hello from the U.S., says Eric. Scotty, I sent you a donation. Rangers. That is so very, very kind of you. Appreciate it. Celtic Rangers, says DJ. DJ, go and see them both play and then just make up your mind. They're quite interchangeable. Lots of Celtic people become Rangers people and lots of Rangers people become Celtic people. We just, we're in free flow here. The first time Shepherd Dinky Doo. Hey, Scotty Dinky Doo. Thank you, Chris. Lovely to have you with us. Wonderful. I'm desperate to see the other photo behind you. Which one is that? Do you want me to show you it? There you go. I'll move out the road that way. There you go. Do you like that? That's, I'll give you a wee thing. These were presents to Scotty McClue, Dinky Do, from Wonderful Well Wishers. How much is it for a gallon of gas in the United Kingdom? What are we, a litre, guys? Are we something like 160 a litre at the moment? Uh, if you can tell me, there's about four, is it four litres, 4.25 litres in a gallon? Are you still the US gallon? There we are. You don't read out all the messages. I do, Rangers, absolutely. There we go. Motorbikes rock, and don't be cheeky, by the way. Just watch your mouth 
on here, or you'll be doing the swanny. Doing with the English boy, I say. Thanks, pal. Great. No problem, Chris. Who have we got here? It's 750. There we are. What's 750? Seven pounds fifty a gallon. Wow. Ten dollars US equivalent. Got you, Chris. Right. Incredible. Okay, here we go. Now, what have we got here? Stone tape theories apparently are real occurrence. Images from hundreds of years ago showing their form now for split seconds. Wow, Dave. Energy stored into rocks and stones. Well, look at Stonehenge. I really, really worry when the clocks go back or forward that all the druids have to come and move all the stones round. Oh, dearie me, if it's a clock. Doon the swanee. There we are. Very interesting, Dave. You're quite a man, you know, when you behave yourself. Yes, Gordon, good. Hello from New York City, says Ian. Highlander living over here. Remember you from your radio days, Ian. Lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do to New York City. We love it. I've just tried calling in Scotty. It didn't work. 136 a litre. Right, let me check the phones, guys. Do I want you calling in? Try them now, I say. Try the phones. Very, very important. If you've been ringing and ringing and ringing, let's try them now. See if we can get them working. USA is still gallons of gasoline. Is that what you, is it a US imperial gallon? Am I correct? Average price 134 a liter. So that would be four pounds, 120. 16, and uh, that would be, hang on a wee minute now, and uh, uh, what would a quarter of that be? Let me try and work that out. So 30 pence, 31 pence onto that. Let me see if I can do it this way, guys. So that should be 7, 7 and 4, 11, 4, 5, 6, 7. That would be, what did we say? Yeah. Is that now that would work out at 171. So wait a minute. Let's see if I can sort this out. Uh five pounds twenty, uh five pounds sixty, five eighty-four, five eighty-four, uh six six fifteen. Who said who gave me a price for a gallon there? We seem to be, am I at 6.15 a gallon? Is that way, way out? Let's see what we've got here, guys. Somebody gave me a gallon. Could it be six quid a gallon? Is that possible? Six pound 15 a gallon. First time shepherd. Are you from the joke shop, says Gordon? No, just want to answer the phone again, Scotty. Right, let's see if we can sort the phones for you guys. You need your phones. We all need the phones. They shouldn't be a problem. I need to maybe see what the problem is with these phones because there shouldn't be a problem with phones. I think I've had so many calls. I've got nine waiting here. Right. Dearie, dearie, dearie me. Okay. Try that now, guys, if you've been phoning in, and let's see if we can get you through it now. Hi, Scotty. See you at last on my day off. I dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us on the day off, I say. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue with the internet phone in. Absolutely global and international. People watching from all over the world. We're only four weeks old. And it's 100% success. Six pound it cost me for a gallon. Well, that's right then. I've got six pound 15. That's me doing my mental arithmetic. Fantastic. Uh, uh, Jerry's asking about a shot. Yes, it's still there. Gordon, you'll know about that. You must be a, a practical joker. I say, less of your English bias, ya Brit. Now, up the glorious, remember... There's no such thing as a Brit. That's a wee figment of your imagination. All right? And we're never biased towards anybody. 
Yeah, so you've got a wee gripe on your shoulder there for no reason. You were banging on about the black and tans. That's over a hundred years ago. Get a life and live in the real world. Enjoy being Irish and celebrate your heritage. And stop cheeking up to people who are trying to help you. True, Scotty, just ban them. Uh, hi, Scotty. Were you a consultant before your radio days? No, t -Mock. I'm a media consultant now. And if anybody starts a television or radio station, their first port of call should be to me, to Scotty McClure. Yes. Your phone lines aren't working, says David. Oh, no. We don't want this. We cannot have this. We need to get the phone lines working, David. What is going on with the phones? I say, right, hang on a second. The phone should be working. I don't understand that. So there we are. There shouldn't be a reason. Using the gas calculator, Scotty. Using the old brain. Working it out on the brain there. Still want to answer the phone, Scotty. Do the phone calls. We're trying to do the phone calls. Apparently, they're not working. And that's very strange. Yes. Right, that's that. Fantastic. Okay. So that should be working now, guys. I cannot see the problem. There's a wee thing going rind and rind here. I'm just wondering what that means. Yes, we're active. That's absolutely fine. So there shouldn't be a problem there. Mm-hmm. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to check all the things for the phone, see if we can get some more calls, because the phones need to be working. I see. I definitely see. Yes, there we are. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Good. Right, everybody try the phones, see if we can get them working, guys. Very, very important. It's telling me it's updating the conversation, whatever that means. Though, uh, very, very strange. Scotty, do you have knowledge of supercontinent billion or so years ago, apparently Earth growing in size, which would explain the continental drift? Have you ever heard of the Azores lift? There we are. We just got our stock car in a bang and I raced them. I didn't hurt myself. Right, Scotty, you need to fix your technology. It's letting you down. Chris, I think we know that. Thank you. But it's very difficult when I'm actually live to do anything about it. I'm desperate to hear the calls. So am I, Chris. So you and I are singing from the same hymn sheet. There we are. That's what it's all about, I see. Now, let me see if I can do some more stuff with this. This is not good enough. Mm-hmm. Mm Now, I'm just having a good look. Now, let me see what happens here, guys. We might try something. Um, can somebody try the phones now? See if there's anything working on that. If not, we'll uninstall and reinstall. When the earth was being formed, it was 40% smaller. It's growing. Well, there we go. You see, this might be an excellent counter to all the Save the Planet stuff. The planet is growing. All right, mates. Uh, it looks like you're smart. Do you know much about Bonnie Prince Charles? I can tell you anything about Bonnie Prince Charles. Scotty, you know, reels with the phone bill. Gordon, please do not be cheeky. You know I would not be in a reels with the phone bill. Yes, at the call and says, unavailable says Harry Dude. Right, let's see. I wonder if I should risk uninstalling and uh, and trying it again. What do you think, guys? Is that too big an operation to do live on air, to uninstall? What we got here, Mark Wyatt? Wonderful. Settings. There we go. Something's happened there, has it? 
It says a call has been missed. All right, so that's that. So we know a call's been missed. I wonder if I could, if that would be too much. Who knows about all these things? Should we uninstall? Oh, here we go. We're in business. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello. Hello. Right, we got a hello there, so we know they're working. Guys, get on the phones if you've been trying all night. Let's see if we can get you on. That would be just fantastic. That guy was obviously some sort of dolt <laughs> and helped many, many people out of their predicaments. Yes, indeed. Here we go. What's happening here? Right, let's see what's happening here, guys. The phones are going daft now. We just need to answer them. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? There we are. Fantastic. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, it's Thomas from Glasgow. Your phone's working. Thomas, the phones are working. Thank you very much. And dinky do. Dinky do, mate. Top man. That's wonderful. To the telephones, guys, as soon as possible. We obviously will have little teething problems. There we are. We keep getting error messages, says Suzanne. Well, the moon is, in fact, moving away from our beautiful planet at the same rate as our fingernails are growing. Dave, you're some man. I love Harry here. How can a phone number not work? L-M-A-O. Harry, I agree with you. How can a phone number not work? I've paid plenty for it, for goodness sake. Scotty, I said I'd just check your working matey. Dinky do. Thank you, Harry. Now, uh, who's been ringing and ringing and ringing and redialing and redialing all night and cannot get through? Come and join us, I say. Wonderful. Uh, we've only got about nine minutes. I can't believe this. The time flies. I hope you're enjoying it. Now, there we go. Dinky do to you, Scotty, says Willie. Uh, do you know why Bonnie, Prince Charlie and the Jacobites wanted to take the throne? Yes, of course I do. They want to keep it in Stuart hands. So there we are. Uh, oops, here we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's David again, Scotty. Oh, David. I just want to put it up because it wasn't working, Scotty, you know. I know. It's, it's, it's very temperamental. I think it's because these things are so finely tuned. And I'm sitting here and everybody's shouting, now get your phones fixed, get your phones fixed. And you think, I'm sitting here on the telly. Could you imagine if we phoned the newsreader in the telly and says, could you adjust your contrast a wee bit? Aye, David, do you mind the vertical hold? Vertical hold. You had to get it to sit, otherwise the picture shot upwards. You're too young for all that. <laughs> oh, the technology is so brilliant, but I am a wee bit disappointed with the way the phones are getting sticky. But I think what's happening, David, I look at it right, I'm looking at it right now, right? And uh, nine people are trying to get through at the one time. Aye. Now, I don't think this system maybe is built to cope with that, you know? Yes, yes. But we'll see. Yes. We'll press on until we get it 100% successful. Once the yes, whole world's yes, watching... Yes, we can then upgrade it, you know. <laughs> David, good night and God bless you, Dinky Do. And tell that John, tell that John he's got some cheek on him. Love you, my boy, Dinky Do. <laughs> there we go. Professor Nupti, he'd like that vertical and horizontal hold. That was it, Ed. Do you remember all that stuff? The telly used to go daft. We had an aerial, you only got one channel. 
and it was BBC television, but that was only the one channel. We didn't even get ITV. And my dad was standing up at the windy with a big plastic rod called an aerial at the time. It was supposed to be an aerial. And we were shouting, yeah, no, no, it's away again. No, try it again. See, back to what you did. The no, no, that's, oh, there it is. That's brilliant. Leave it at that. And my dad was standing up in a chair holding it. Crazy stuff. Does anyone remember also two wee chrome rods on the top of the telly with a wee plastic dot on the top of them, and that was your plug-in aerial? Vertical. You lot are mad, says Suzanne. Now, Suzanne, the whole world's queer except thee and me. Come on now. You can't say we're all mad and you're no. Think you do a great show tonight, Scotty McLean. Well done again, Kareem. It's been an absolute joy. We just obviously need to ensure the phones are working. I think that's important. Scotty, Caroline asked, where in Scotland is your accent from? Glasgow, crack. I don't really have an accent. This is just the way I speak. It's pure Glasgow. Pure heavy Glasgow, bro. Thanks for yet another fabulous show, Scotty. Particularly enjoyed tonight's subjects, Nikki. Never a dull moment on here. We're going to say goodbye to our beautiful TikTokers right now. Thank you so much for joining us. You are fabulous. Scotty McClue says, dinky do to every one of you. Ta-da, our gorgeous TikTokers. Thank you for a wonderful show. Right, there you are. And that's them. Oh, the TikTokers have gone and left us. So it's just ourselves now. Right, what's happening here? We had a coat hanger for the snowy picture. I know a wee tune in the box tonight, Scotty boy. No heard a wee blast for a while. Beachy, beachy. Leave that with me. I don't have the box beside me. I don't think. No, it's it's uh, it's on the other side. Less, slightly less mad than some, though, says Suzanne. Well, Suzanne, we'll take your word for it. You know, that's what it's about. I'll tell you what I was talking about to somebody yesterday. Has anybody ever heard the wonderful old Scottish phrase? Everybody's out of step, but your jock. Does anybody know what it means? Everybody's out of step, but your jock. There we are. That was funny. You and your dad tried to get a picture of Jerry. It was a scream. That's it, Dad. Leave it at that. Don't move. No, no, don't, don't move. He's standing up holding this big rod on a chair with one foot on the dining table <laughs> across a great big sash window. <laughs> I can still see it. He was a terrific character. He was about six foot two and, uh, you know, great big chap, not a pick on him. And there he was standing up with his corduroys and his boots and his tweed jacket holding up this aerial so we could see BBC television. Watch with mother. <laughs> Never heard of that saying. Right, Suzanne, let me explain it. It was a couple of Scottish parents had gone to the barracks to see their sons passing out parade. And they were so proud of their son, they thought he could do no wrong. Their son was marching out of step. The rest of the battalion or the company were absolutely in step, but their son was out of step. But the mother looked and said, would you look at that? They're all out of step, but our jock. Abadie's out of step, but our jock. In other words, our family or ourselves never, ever, ever make a mistake. Everybody else does. Have you got it? Everybody's out of step, but poor jock. Hopefully clothed at the window, fully clothed, absolutely. So there you are, Suzanne. Do you get that one now? Everybody's out of step, but poor jock. So if a mother goes, no, no, my, my son would never do anything like that, you know. Everybody's out of step, but poor jock, eh? <laughs> I love it. I love all these. The Scottish sayings are very, very good. And another favourite of mine, as you probably heard me say many times, is nobody said anything. What did they say? They never said ichi or ochi, either yin thing or another. 
That's what it's all about. Lol, Jerry, dinky do. Guys, I've just looked at the time. We are out of time. What an outstanding show tonight. And a big, big, big thank you to every single one of you. Keep spreading the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live at 9 just for you. Dinky do on the internet phone in on YouTube, on Facebook, on LinkedIn and on Twitch. Go and follow, I say, and follow me on the YouTube channel. Subscribe and tap the bell. From me, Scotty McClure, to every single one of you, thanks again. Good night. God bless. Dinky-doo and ta-ra-las. <laughs>